Welcome back to Gin Reviews from South Florida. Tonight, we're going to go back to Tennessee. And we're going to be reviewing from the H. Clark Distillery. This is their Heirloom Gin. Tonight on the Gin Joe program. Gin Joe! Alright. Very excited about this. Uh, I've had this bottle for a while, and tonight's the night. I thought we'd pop it. So, the H. Clark Distillery is in a town called Thompson Station, Tennessee. About 35 minutes from Nashville, but more importantly, a neighboring town to the town I was living in, Spring Hill, Tennessee. The distillery was so close that this was actually the distillery I got to go and apprentice and watch um, just to be more engaged in gin making and I've learned so much and I really appreciated my time there. Uh, COVID hit and things shut down so that ended that but I did snag a bottle of this. Now this is from Elixir uh, Spirits uh, in Spring Hill. He bought this, Tarek, the great owner Tarek, he bought this barrel and and the notes on it are it's barrel number 16 barreled uh, 6 5 2018 bottle 12 3 2019 proof is 118.7 bringing it to 59.35 not too shabby the botanicals are juniper of course orange cardamom cassia and cuban pepper so at the H. Clark Distillery, we create handcrafted Tennessee bourbon, gin, and black and tan whiskey. One small batch at a time. With each spirit, we pay homage to the roots of the craft, honoring the traditions that tie our spirits to those who have come before us. We trust in tradition. It has never let us down. We craft our spirits in the old town granary in the charming and picturesque town of Thompson Station, Tennessee found in southern Williamson County in August of 20, or 2014. H. Clark Distillery became the first legal distillery in Williamson County in over a hundred years. We craft our spirits in the same building local farmers use to house grains before loading them on the railroad for sale generations ago. So it's only fitting that the distillery is now located in the same old building using grains to create high quality spirits to share with those in Williamson County and beyond. If you're in the area, stop by and visit us. We rebuilt a once proud spirits tradition in Williamson County. We'll think you'll like it. I did. <laughs> so, let's open this bastard up, huh? There's no little horrible plastic thing. I love that. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's what I like. Ooh. I was gonna say it's a natural cork, but it, it, it's not. <laughs> but there is a little, hmm. Looks like someone carved their initials in it. Kind of strange, but Tennessee, right? All right, well, I'm just gonna pour this in a rock glass. That nice color on it. Oak, oak. It smells very smooth, if that makes sense. Um, the It's not very harsh. There's not an ethanol burn or anything like that. I'm getting the very, the woodsy vanilla uh, notes of the oak. Um, it's hard to pick up the juniper, but I'm sure it's in there. We'll have to do it justice and do it right. Salute, salute, man. smooth like the smooth note oh there's the burn oh it's so beautiful the creamy vanilla notes from the oak 
juxtaposed to the juniper, the cardamom. I mean, the botanicals are there. They're in the background. Um, but, wow, what a smooth. This is a very nice sipping gin. Um, out of all the cask gins I have reviewed uh, thus far, I would say this one is the smoothest and it's very approachable. Um, I, I could definitely, I could see me pouring a glass, which I'm about to do, uh, with just some ice and sip on this for, you know, however long it takes. In fact, I think that is exactly what we're going to do tonight. I'm maybe spinning yarn or two about my time in Tennessee. I think a little Regan's with this will just be perfect because that orange note that's already there, it will amplify it, I believe. I mean, look at that. Doesn't that just look amazing right there? It, the color on it is so beautiful. The taste, it's, it's outstanding. It's really an outstanding gin. Uh, the proof is very high. I mean, we're almost at 60%. Um, that is going a little bit past uh, the normal threshold. But then again, this is a different type of gin. This is an heirloom gin, much like the antique gin that Treaty Oak makes, um, but yeah, mm. damn is this good, and yeah, the orange bitters amplify the orange botanical, and wow, the wood, the smokiness of the wood, it leaches so much of that beautiful creamy vanilla on the back end uh, so I, I don't know too many people um, personally that enjoy a cast gin uh, as much as I do even to the point where I think it's it, it's kind of strange because I, I totally understand if you're a, a gin drinker and you don't like the wood or the smoke or that point of it but going back into the history of of gin here in the states when gin was shipped over from England uh, from from Europe and they would cask it they would put them in, into the wood barrel ship them over in, into the barrels and a lot of times that's how you would get gin it would be just like having whiskey um, that tradition continues today but I don't think it's as strong or as uh, popular as it once was but that's why I do these reviews I'd like to see if uh, someone out there also enjoys this type of gin and if you do please comment tell me what you like what you don't um, I'm very interested to, to know uh, besides um, the juniper aspect I want to know why you <laughs> would pick up a bottle of something like this or anything else that would be oak barrel and uh, drop me a line tell me what you think because I think it's out absolutely outstanding um cocktails with this uh, you know an old-fashioned sure I, I probably will do that tonight at some point um, Martinez definitely could see that I mean there, it's good in the in the fact that if you were going to make a um, a whiskey cocktail any kind of you could substitute this and I think you'd be just as happy this is a very nice product mm. great distillery great town great people uh, but I'm not I'm not too homesick <laughs> but uh, yeah I definitely would visit uh, in the future and uh, Definitely bring a few people up that I thought were pretty cool. Maybe have a cocktail. Shoot the shit, you know. This is, it's getting better 
as it's sitting, chilling, and the water from the ice is, is just bringing it down just, just a touch. Again, it's very smooth though. I mean, I'm definitely feeling, I'm feeling the effects of the high proof, but tasting it, it doesn't, it, it doesn't translate, it doesn't hit you as hard as anything else that would be proofed at 60. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely, a, there's a warmth right away. Uh, this is a great gin for right now, going into winter, you know, um, especially you're up north, sorry uh, for you. <laughs> you're up there in the cold and all that. This would be a great, you know, getting home. Six, seven o'clock, kick your shoes off, you got the fireplace on, maybe. You pour yourself one of these, sit in your favorite chair, and just slip into Jinton. <laughs> Gin Town? I, I don't know. Something along those lines. So, I've had this bottle for about a year and a half now. It's been one of the bottles that I've kept, usually right here in this uh, beautiful case. Uh, you know, I am proud of what I accomplished in Tennessee. Um, you know, definitely had my uh, share of up and down and really down but all in all uh, this was actually one of those things that this bottle here reminds me of the good times I had especially in Spring Hill uh, with my crew with you know the only people I knew <laughs> there and uh, yeah it's getting me a little sentimental thinking about everyone I'm gonna definitely share this review with all the good people up there in Spring Hill and uh, Thompson Station and uh, from you guys there at the H. Clark Distillery, uh, I'd say keep on doing what you're doing because this is outstanding. If you see a bottle of this floating around out there, well, probably not this bottle because this is only from Elixir, but a similar bottle of this, I would definitely say pick it up. If you are a, um, if you are a fan of cast gins, if you enjoy a really nice oak, smoky, vanilla, smooth, very smooth sipping gin. I totally, totally would say go ahead and buy this because this is really an outstanding product. I can't say that enough. So from me to you and to you to me to everyone here in the middle of the states from sea to shining sea, thank you so much for coming back. Have another cocktail and uh, let's say we do it again real soon, huh? All right. Ciao, you bastards. <laughs>